when Hashem wants you, Hashem finds all different ways to speak with you, to make sure that you understand the message. And for some people, you know, they are refusing to understand the message. <laughs> they refuse to understand the call of Hashem. And then Hashem makes, they have to make the call like stronger and more obvious that they cannot ignore it. You know, and it gets like stronger and stronger. And there is many stories about those things of people that they were, they got the message, they understood, but they, want, they, 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 they didn't want to take the responsibility. They felt that it's too much for them to deal with. So they pushed it aside, they ignored it. And then it became to be stronger and usually painful. Um, so when Hashem is giving you a message, it is like light and nice. And, you know, and so the right thing to do is to respond. You say, yes, Hashem, I'm here. What can I do for you? <laughs> what is the right thing to do? And if you do that, so Baruch Hashem, good for you. And somebody that doesn't do that, so there is all kinds of different stories. I, I know someone that he got bitten by a snake, that uh, like ignored like few few times that Hashem was like trying to you know get his attention, he ignored it, and then he got bitten by a snake and he was lying in the hospital for like three months, like in with like high fever, and when he came out of the hospital, he understood that he was like the only reason that he's still alive is because yeah, he, he accepted that responsibility of. Going in the way of Hashem. How, how was Hashem trying to? Whatever different ways, but the point is that Hashem is Hashem wants all of us. There's no there's no one that can escape from Hashem. There's no way to escape from Hashem. Hashem wants all of us, and we have to follow the commandments of Hashem. And as much as we are doing it willingly and happily, so we can be happy about it. When someone is uh, trying to find all kinds of ways to as if. To run out so obviously he will get stuck somewhere you know and we, like one of the ways that we see that is by the story of Bilam that he was he was going he was he thought he wants to curse the, Jew, the Jewish people and Hashem showed him that he, he got stuck can't continue you have to accept the fact that Hashem is in control right and that's the way of Hashem in, with all of the wicked people so to us, it seems like as if the wicked people can do whatever they want. And they do all kinds of uh, crazy things, all kinds of evil things, whatever it is. But the fact is that they are very, very, very limited. Very, very limited. And really, the, all, all, all what they do is just like move a little bit movement here, a little bit movement there, but they almost have no freedom to, to move anywhere. And it's only a matter of time until they will get to like a full freeze and they won't have where, anywhere to, to continue to go. And it's also true by anyone. When, if somebody is if somebody is trying to go against Hashem, so in this point or another, he, get, he gets to a point that he cannot continue with this way. <laughs> and if Hashem loves you, so he's doing it early. And when Hashem, Hashem, Hashem is ignoring someone that is going in the wrong way, so that's, that's the worst punishment that, that Hashem can give anyone. Is that a sign of Hashem forgiving, in my case, me, for having basically not acknowledged in my entire life? Look, when you're not aware and you're not acknowledged, so it's not a big sin. When someone is, is knowledgeable and is ignoring, that's the real problem. Okay? And that. most of the people that they are ignoring, it's because of a lack of knowledge. Okay, so even if you knew theoretically, but you didn't really know in your heart, you knew it as something that is external, that is like a culture thing, uh, no. like in whatever it is. I knew, I knew better. I did things that I knew I shouldn't have been doing, and internally I felt wrong. I just ignored it. Okay, so so this this. So this feeling this feeling that you had internally that you that it is wrong you have to get to the clarity that it's really wrong and I don't want to be part of that I don't want to have that those those feelings within me and as much as you need to do wrong and to feel the, to feel that uh, that negativity within you so it's it's a shame but it is what it is. That's what you have to go through to get to that point that you say, okay, enough is enough. 
I, w- I decided I want to change my ways. Do you know why I changed my ways? Did I tell you? I don't think I told you. I came to a point in my life where I didn't feel like there was a purpose to live in. Because, and I didn't understand why. I felt like nobody was there for me. And when I realized that no person in the world was there for me, I, said, I asked myself, how could that be? And I realized that Hashem was always there with me. I just didn't acknowledge it. Okay. That's 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 true. That's true. That's definitely true. And uh, I think that everybody are going through like the same process, this way or another, in different ways, different, different forms. Each, each one with the, the background of his life or his, whatever it is. But yeah, I don't we, we, special by any yeah. I know this, we, this, this is this is this is this is the world the world story, yeah. like globally, individually. The point is, are we are are we ready? to mature you know there's most of the people they they're not ready to mature they they want to stay and play in the mud in the preschool yeah yeah okay it's a big, fine. It's a big problem fine we should want them to get out of the mud right that's what we need to be doing so we we should take we should f- make sure that we are not dirty with mud ourselves no, 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 okay that's the, the that's the first thing <laughs> of course uh, after you after you 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 made sure that that you you like you took the shower and you clean and you your clothes are clean, so then you can look around and see if you can help others. So, okay, okay, so this, this brings me to another point that we kind of have already been talking about. I feel that when I'm with people that have their own mud, I feel like it's part of my mud. It's also true. So, so it's also true. The, so what's the answer? It, the answer is it's, that... It's that conflicting. You can't move it, forward if you're okay, so, so have mud. No, so, so you, every time you get dirty and you clean yourself again, and this way you're also helping them. It's not, it's not the best way, but it is... It is what it is. Sometimes that's that's what you have to go through. There is there is like many many levels of how to relate in a way that you don't have to really get involved and dirty yourself. But many times that's what happens, and you have to learn to know how to, you know, to do it quickly. Go into the shower, change, it, come back to the to the to do a f- battlefield. Exhausting. Okay, fine. It is what it is. You know, and I, like. It, that's that's a it's part part of part of the of the process. So how do you what's the answer to cleaning yourself? Well, first of all, like it's also physically, by the way, like to to yeah. do, go to the mikveh. Even if if you don't have a mikveh, take a shower, wash your hands, let a dime, if that whatever it is. Um, as, okay. I've been washing my hands raw, Rabbi. I'm bleeding because I wash my hands all the time. <laughs> okay. There's also 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 secrets about about how to take care of yourself uh, that you want uh, <laughs> that your skin will not break. Anyhow, the point is that that's that's one thing. But the same thing also in spiritual, yeah. Meaning to do tshuva, mikveh is like tshuva. So to to go through a process of tshuva again and again and again, every time in a higher level and a higher level and a higher level. And as much as you are doing the yachuva in a higher level, so you are able to help others, to encourage them and to guide them and to be part of the process they're going through and so on. And it's a uh, yeah. When when if if somebody is 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 like is planning on sitting back and relaxing and like not having to do anything, so it's very tiring and you know exhausting. But if you are ready to work. And you understand that this is your work. That's what you. That's what you came here for. So okay, fine. So if that's what Hashem wants from me, so I'll do it. And uh, be happy about it. <laughs> Why to be grumpy about it? You have to do it anyhow. So be happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. Okay, without Hashem, I, I so we'll, we'll hold we'll hold with a with a good point.